Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And in today's episode, we're going to take a look at the stupid children of stupid parents, specifically the stupid children of Highgate School in North London, and their stupid parents who pay £22,000 a year to have their children educated here. That's not strictly true. They're paying £22,000 a year to have their children brainwashed by lefty teachers here. And the result of all this education at great expense is that these highly privileged ch uh, children are saying that feminism is racist, transphobic, homophobic and classist. They're the ones complaining about classism and that it's middle class and they're the ones whose parents are paying £22,000 a year to have them educated in a private school. It makes you wonder. Anyway, we'll take a look at this article uh, and look at their hypocrisy because last year they were complaining about the exact opposite. So it goes to show £22,000 a year worth of education hasn't improved them very much. I'll put myself down in my usual corner and we will take a look. Okay, ladies, um, I hope you're paying attention because um, apparently if you're feminist and believe that you have the right to be just as good as a man, and do everything a man can do and, you know, be a strong, independent woman that don't need no man. Well, got news for you. You're transphobic, racist, focusing on straight white middle class women. How dare you? How very dare you say the extremely privileged and highly expensively educated children of Highgate School. What a load of old rubbish, isn't it? Anyway, this is funny because you can't get over it. The, the irony of spending all that money on an education and pumping out morons. But anyway, let's look at this. Highgate School hosted an anti-sexism forum organised by staff and pupils. A presentation titled How Inclusive is Feminism states that modern feminism's primary focus is sishit, which is heterosexual cisgender. Surely that therefore would be hetsis. So they can't even get that bit right. Anyway, it's sishet white middle class women. Another presentation calls on pupils to use their privilege as a force for good. Oh, I see. So where previously privilege, check your privilege, check your privilege, your privilege is bad. Now they're saying, ah, oh, you've got privilege. You don't want to give your privilege up. So use your privilege for good. Well, I will. I'll use my privilege. You know, uh, the fact that I'm not privately educated, born with a silver spoon in my mouth, got a title or anything like that. But apparently I'm privileged. They're privileged, right? But their privilege is different from my privilege, you see. My privilege is nothing I can do anything about. I was born white, and that's my terrible white privilege. I was born poor. Is that a privilege? Uh, but they, of course, they've got privilege because they have wealth. They can do something about that, though, can't they? They can give their money away. But they're not going to. They're going to use their privilege in a good way because they're hypocritical wankers. But anyway, we'll get on. The school last year saw pupils walk out and hold a protest amid accusations of a rape culture. So last year, oh, look, poor women. Women can't do There's a rape culture for women. Women need to be strong this year. Strong women. Oh, they're racist and transphobic. Anyway, moving into the story. Pup pupils at the 22,000 a year private school have been told that modern feminism's main focus is the problems of straight white middle class women. North London's Highgate School, whose alumni include the poet T.S. Eliot and one of Boris Johnson's daughters, he doesn't know which one. He has so many by so many different women, he sometimes forgets how many children he has. Hosted an anti-sexism forum organised by staff and pupils last month. It came amid a drive to tackle sexist behaviour at the school. Which is exactly what they've got, because they're now saying, how dare you be a feminist? That's sexist. They don't even get the irony. £22,000 worth of education, and you don't know how, you, how to even spell irony. Materials used during the forum reveal that the presentation titled How Inclusive is Feminism states that modern feminism's primary focus is chishit, 
heterosexual, cisgender, see what I mean, can't spell, middle class white women. This creates a notion that only this group of women has to deal with sexism. Uh, I think not, matey. You should try going to the Middle East and seeing exactly how sexism works. The document claims, adding, there can't, there can't be justice in feminism without brown, black, gay, trans, etc. Feminism. You can't be trans feminist. But a man can be feminist. I'm feminist. I'm quite happy to let women do exactly the same as men, up to a point. I wouldn't expect a woman to have a prostate examination, for example, and I wouldn't expect a man to have a period. So, within reason, but there's nothing stopping a woman being an engineer, nothing stopping a man being a nurse, nothing stopping a woman becoming a union leader, nothing stopping a man from knitting for a hobby. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. They care. Because they don't like the idea of straight white women being straight white or women. And all for that load of old cobblers about only straight white women um, fight for feminism. Like I say, you need to go to the Middle East. Another presentation called How to Be an Ally calls on pupils at the private school to consider how best to use their privilege as a force for good. But yet privilege is seen as a bad, evil thing. Check your privilege. And yet here they are saying, oh, well, actually, we don't want to give up our privilege because it's our privilege. Hypocritical much. Anyway, moving on. The school, which last year saw pupils walk out and hold a protest amid accusations of a rape culture, has now been blasted for virtue signalling. I think it should be blasted for stupidity. Tanya Carter from the parent campaign group Safe Schools Alliance said, the whole thing seems utterly bizarre. No shit, Sherlock. Or Tanya. Why would a school at the centre of everyone's invited scandal concentrate on virtue signalling, such as telling pupils to think about their privilege, rather than seeking to address a culture that has resulted in appalling experiences for their female students? And they're now putting further pressure on their female students. Because imagine if you're a female student who last year was the subject of sexual abuse and who was encouraged to stand up for yourselves. And then now, because you're standing up for yourself and just happen to be white, are being put upon for being a white feminist. How dare you? So last year, rape culture. This year, political attack. They really know how to look after their women, don't they? These people are dangerous. This is the left. The left always eat themselves, but they're just dangerous. They, this school needs to be closed. can't believe Tuffers went there, you know. The cricketer. You wouldn't think it, would you? Anyway... And the misinformation, she continued, and the misinformation which is being spread about modern feminism is nothing short of irresponsible. Yeah, but it's hate-driven. It's hate-driven because these guys have got nothing but privilege. They're afraid of losing their privilege. They, they, their privilege leaks out in forms of hate. Well, they can't hate the left. They can't hate people of colour. They can't hate the gays. What's left? The only people they can hate are white rights. And that's all it is. But if they could see, just change the word white to Jew. And then see how it sounds. Change the word right to black. And see how it sounds. Because the level of hate is no different. It's just differently targeted. But these people are full of hate. And dangerous. And that's what the left do. And the left is brainwashing these children at £22,000 a year each. The parents need locking up for irresponsibility. A teacher from a neighbouring school whose pupil went to the forum said she was concerned that a school so widely criticised for the behaviour of some of the students in terms of sexual harassment and sexual assault should launch an anti-sexism forum that doesn't deal with those issues whatsoever. It's unbelievable. This school is run by dangerous anti-women anti-feminist, anti-white, lefty, hate-filled tossers. And there's no other way of explaining it. Last year, thousands of accusations of sexual harassment and rape were posted on a campaign website, Everyone's Invited, with allegations naming famous establishments such as Eton, Highgate School and Dulwich College. 
Following a flood of claims, the government advised school and college staff to assume that peer-on-peer -peer abuse is happening, even if no reports are made. So it's undoubtedly happening at this school. And then they then compound this by attacking women at the school and females at the school who dare to stand up for themselves. It's unbelievable that the teaching staff and the governing staff of this school need to be taken out, disbarred from ever t teaching again, disbarred from running any school again, have their web histories and hard drives looked at and they should be prosecuted for failure to look after their pupils. This is ridiculous, isn't it? The safeguarding guidance from the Department for Education revealed in 2021 and said staff should reassure victims that they will be taken seriously and they will be supported and kept safe when they make a report. Well, it's hardly happening now, is it? Because if you've ever made a report last year that created this rape crisis culture uh, system that they had last year, you're now being persecuted for it, not supported. The DfE updated its advice on how schools and colleges can support young victims of sexual abuse, violence and harassment. Well, they're still being harassed. They're being harassed by this school, by the teachers and the other pupils of this school, with guidance explaining the risks associated with peer-on-peer -peer online abuse and warning that such abuse can happen outside the school or college and can be hidden. Well, it's actually not being hidden here, is it? It's being put out in plain sight. They are abusing females who choose to be strong, who choose to stand up. But hey, they're getting away with it because they're the left. They need to be brought to book, brought to task and questioned. Anyway, I'm not going to go into a deep one here. It's been long enough. I'm going to come up and we'll round this off. You have to wonder if the parents consider they're getting value for money for this education because it's quite plainly obvious that it, they're not. These kids are coming out, they're brainwashed, they're being taught social justice, they're being taught the politics of hate, the politics of envy, they're being taught about <clears throat> anti-Western anti values. But they're not being taught maths, science, foreign languages, anything useful. We've got a little school that's pumping out privileged pricks. But the trouble is, these privileged pricks are the ones that are going to be your bosses and your politicians. Give them another 20 years and this is the world we're building because we're not stopping the left. We keep letting the left get hold of children. Now, in America, um, the school systems in America are so cancerously riddled with socialism that the rise of home education is phenomenal and even in Britain now home education is getting very very much larger there's a lot of it and the reason is that you can educate your child at home and you can put your values into the child and not the values of communists Marxist leftist dangerous pro-paedophile teachers because the left is definitely pro-paedophilia so that is why there is the rise of home teaching and you know the schools are really against it teachers hate home education they hate it because they can't get their hands on your children very very worth having a look at if you're in any kind of position to educate your children at home and stop the schools getting hold of them and corrupting them. Anyway, I do feel sorry. I do feel sorry for the children because I suspect that most of them aren't actually bad people. I think, as I say, they've been corrupted over a long period of time and I don't know if it's reversible. But still, They'll learn when they go into the real world that the real world doesn't work like that. Anyway, I'll round off now. If you like what you hear and see on the channel, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications. Leave a like. Leave a comment. And until next time, stay safe. Stay well. Remain strong. And goodbye.